Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Titan from Titans of CNC, and today we're going to have some fun. I'm just saying, man. So I got this Canamental Scale Ram 3-inch shell mill. This thing is a beast. And now I'm going to test it. So I got a big old 36-inch piece of aluminum right here and we're gonna throw this aluminum into that machine. It's gonna be stepping in at 2.7 radial, 100 thousandths deep. We're gonna start off at 100 inches per minute. We're gonna go up to 200 inches per minute, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. And we're gonna see exactly where the machine and tool fail. And when we hit that wall, we're gonna back off we're gonna look at the wall, we're gonna problem solve, and we're gonna find a way to keep moving forward. All right, so 800 inches a minute is how fast we wanna run. Let's make this happen. Come on, guys. What's gonna happen? You're at 190 percent last time. I think it's gonna stall. Oh. And it's gonna snap all the injured and stop. <laughs> Should I go 550? Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Okay. No. Nah. I don't think it can go any further, but I mean, we're already. What's that? 220%? 220% load? Yeah. You're making it happen? 600 inches a minute? Go to 700 inches a minute? No. Oh! I know I can handle on other machines, man. So, like, let's just see on the horse. See if we can do it. Make it happen. 
Have some fun. Break well, something. One way to find out. All right, let's do it. That was epic. Uh, so we stopped it. Now we have a problem because we want to get up to 800 inches a minute. So there's a few things that we're going to do. You know that 2.7 radio engagement? We're going to back off and we're going to go to 1.5. We're going to stay at a Z depth of 100 thousandths point one, and we're going to run it from there. I'm going to turn the coolant on I'm gonna start at 500 inches a minute. I'm gonna look at my load. I'm gonna look at my horsepower, right? And I'm gonna see how much is being used. And I'm gonna go up from there. And we're gonna find that sweet spot. All right, so let's see if we can get this thing to go 800 inches a minute. Let's go. So there we go, success. One thing I want to say is that all machines are different. All programmers are different. Tools are different. And you have to get to know your tools. You got to get to know your, your parts and your machines and, and all the variables, right? When you're running fast, you need to look at work holding. How are you holding the material? How solid do you have? How much confidence do you have that that material is not going to come out of the vise? right? And by setting the parameters for specific tools and materials and documenting them, you will know exactly where your sweet spot is, all right? So we went all the way up to failure. We backed off, we re-engaged with a lighter depth of cut. We actually made it all the way to 800, all right? But the spindle load was still way up, all right? Then we backed the tool off. We ran it at 400 inches per minute. I looked at my load. It was, it was pretty good, but maybe a little bit high, all right? So that's 400 inches a minute. So now I can document that on this BF6 SS, if I'm at 300 inches a minute, 350, 375, right about there, and I'm 50% over 100 thousandths down on all aluminum, that's similar to 6061, I'm gonna have success.